What's going on everybody out there? This is uh, Greg with Make Cody Yours, Cody for Beginners, and today I'm going to show you how to back up and restore a build that you've done on Cody using ADB Fire. And the reason you would do this, if you've downloaded a build from uh, a developer uh, such as uh, the Royalist build or uh, the Beast build, Spins TV, any of those builds, or just simply made your own custom build and you want to save it or back it up so that you don't lose any of your info or you just simply want to try out another build and this is just a way to back it up so that you, um, you, know, you don't lose all your information. So I'm just going to show you on mine that I have a build currently on here and then we'll show you how to back up and restore it. Um, the build that I have on here is the radioactive build, my own personal custom build. Uses two skins, uses the uh, Arctic Zephyr skin and also the Aeon Knox skin. Um, it's a great little build. Um, it's got a lot of great content on it. And uh, I will be showing a video on how to get and install this build as well. So um, as you can see, the build's on here. Um, and let me show you how to back this build up onto your computer. And then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to restore it. So we're going to go head over to the computer right about now. All right, guys. So now that we are at the computer, what we're going to want to do is launch the ADB Fire application. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have a previous video on how to install Kodi through this application and the link for that will be in the description as long as well as a link with ADB Fire on it. So when you link ADB Fire, um, what you're going to want to do is connect it to your, uh, connect your uh, device to ADB Fire. Um, I have mine set up here. My IP address is right there. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit connect. Okay, and once you see that it's connected on the bottom here, Amazon updates, ADB running, and uh, device connected, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit backup. Okay, and then what it's going to do, it's going to ask you where do you want to back up your, uh, your files to. For me, I'm going to back it up to my desktop. I made a uh, specific folder, it's just called Make Cody Yours, uh, just to select that. And then I'm going to click select folder and then it's going to ask, do you want to back this up to um, this folder? Then you click yes. Um, this process can take quite a while. It can take, you know, uh, 30 minutes, sometimes longer, depending upon the size of the build that you are backing up. So what I'm going to do for right now, uh, we're going to pause this video. Um, the clock says it's 420 p.m. Uh, so we're going to see about how long this takes and we will be back when it is all finished. All right, guys, as you can see, the time on the clock on the bottom right is about uh, 4.49. So uh, it took about 30 minutes, but it says backup is done. So you can just hit OK. And um, if you just look to wherever you saved your files to, like I said, mine's in Make Cody Yours, you can see all the different files that are in there. And that is how you back up the um, uh, your, Ama your Fire TV uh, stick build from Cody onto your um, computer. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump back over to the um, Fire TV stick and I'm going to show you guys how to restore that build back on to the device. Alright guys, so here you can see I'm back in the uh, on my Kodi application. You can see it's at 790 megabytes. What I'm going to do right now, it's still, the uh, build is on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to force stop it and I'm going to clear the data. And what clearing the data is going to do is it is going to completely wipe Kodi clean. It's going to keep the application on there, but it's going to wipe Kodi clean. Okay, so let's see if it did that. So now this next step is very important. Any time that you um, do this process, if you clear the data, you always have to go back into Kodi and launch the application. Um, and just make sure that it's on there and so it runs once so that ADB Fire can recognize it as Kodi being installed. Okay, so you can see that uh, there's nothing on it right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back out of this. We're gonna go back to the computer 
and I will show you how to restore it. All right, guys, now that we're back at the computer, what we're going to need to do is relaunch ADB Fire. Okay, um, I'm going to connect back to the Amazon Fire TV stick. Should come up here in just a second saying that it's connected. Okay, that's connected. And what we're going to do, instead of hitting backup this time, we're going to hit restore. Okay, and we're going to search for those files. Now, mine are on my desktop. Mine are in the Make Cody Yours uh, folder. Okay, and then shows all those files. I'm going to hit select folder. And it just says restore Cody, make Cody yours. Um, this will overwrite the existing setup. And there's no setup on there currently. So we're just going to hit OK and let the process take place. Um, it's uh, timestamp is 4.53. So uh, I'm going to pause this and we'll come back when it's uh, fully restored back to the uh, Fire TV stick. All right, guys, as you can see, that took actually a little less than 30 minutes by the timestamp. My internet kind of cut out for about 10 minutes, so I had to restart it. But uh, it says restore complete, so we can just hit OK. We can actually exit out of ADB Fire. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the Fire TV. And we are going to launch Cody. I can find the right remote. So we're going to launch Cody and we are going to see what has happened. So that's a good sign. We've got the uh, caution radioactive up there and the Cody intro. And the build has been backed up and restored for you guys. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm also going to be making a, uh, I made a, a video about this build. If you're interested in getting this build, I will, I'm going to make another video that uh, has this in the description that uh, you can download it if you're interested. It's a really cool build. It's got a lot in there. And um, all right, guys, that's it till the next time. Remember, uh, you know, have fun with Cody and uh, make sure you make Cody yours.